Hello, everyone. We're here to keep you informed and empowered in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity. From data breaches to emerging threats, we've got you covered. Remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Reporting on July 20, 2023, one of Florida's largest hospitals, Tampa General Hospital, experienced an attempted ransomware attack in May. Although the hospital contained the unusual network activity and prevented data encryption, an investigation later revealed that hackers had accessed sensitive data from over 1.2 million patients. The stolen information includes names, addresses, phone numbers, social security numbers, health insurance details, and medical records. The hospital reported the incident to the FBI and is offering free credit monitoring to those affected. The Snatch Ransomware Group claimed responsibility for the attack, but the hospital refused to pay the ransom. This breach occurred just a week after a major healthcare company, HCA Healthcare, announced a data breach affecting 11 million people and is now facing class action lawsuits as a result. A North Korean government-backed hacking group infiltrated an American IT management company called JunkCloud and used it as a stepping stone to target cryptocurrency companies. The hackers breached JumpCloud's systems in late June and then focused on a small number of its clients. Though the clients were not named, cybersecurity firms CrowdStrike and Mandiant confirmed the hackers' focus on cryptocurrency theft. The attack marks a shift in North Korean cyber espionage, as they are now employing supply chain attacks to target larger companies for broader access to multiple victims. The hacking group, known as Labyrinth Chalima, is linked to North Korea's Reconnaissance General Bureau. Despite evidence in UN reports, North Korea denied any involvement in digital currency heists. The US cyber watchdog CISA and the FBI declined to comment. Experts warned that more North Korean supply chain attacks are likely in the future. Cyber criminals are targeting college students in North America with fake job offers in the bioscience and health industries, attempting to extract fees from victims. Security experts at Proofpoint discovered the campaign during graduation season, using job-themed scam emails from addresses associated with biotech and healthcare organizations. The emails offered remote data entry jobs and included PDF attachments with job details. This tactic is part of advanced fee fraud, where scammers deceive victims into paying upfront fees. University students, eager to find work after graduation, are susceptible to these scams. The fraudulent emails often spoof the names of real individuals from genuine companies, making them harder to detect. Proofpoint warns that genuine employers never ask for upfront payments or offer paychecks before work begins. While the specific culprits remain unidentified, similar attacks have been linked to financially motivated cyber criminals and state-backed groups in the past. Awareness is crucial to protect against these job offer scams.